Hello, I'm Tatsuki Ueda from Osaka University. My talk today is going to be on illuminated focus, specially defocusing air gases for real scene. The focus blur, also known as bokeh, is one of the natural visual effects. It has been widely used in photographs and movies to control the visual saliency of a specific area. Defocusing is important optical effects for our human vision to understand the three-dimensional structure of a real scene. People can visually perceive fine details of an object in their depth of field. In addition to these examples, the blur effect realizes a wide range of fundamental human-computer interaction techniques, such as user interface in mobile phone, visual guidance to draw users' attention to real-world objects, Considering undesired visual information for privacy protection and focus and context visualization. These interaction techniques are essential in augmented reality AR applications. To deploy them in AR system, spatial focus control of a real world appearance is necessary. Video see-through AR system can relatively easily blur a real scene by digital image processing. But optical see-through AR system is not supported due to optical limitations. Then we propose illuminated focus that optically controls perceived blur independent of depth in OSD AR. In order to add blurring function with OSD AR, we employ electrically tunable lens ETL as a focus tunable optics system. And we use a high speed projector as time multiplexing illumination to determine the blurred region of a real scene. Illuminated focus makes partially defocusing a real scene beyond the physical constraints by synchronizing these devices. ETL is a lens that can modulate the optical power by an electric signal. Now, we describe illuminated focus technique with a simple example. For example, suppose there are three objects, front, middle, back objects, in front of you. When ETL periodically modulates the focus, only the focused object appears clear and the other objects are blurred. This is called focal sweep. Next, we introduce a high-speed projector. The front and middle objects are illuminated at the same time when the front object is in focus. On the other hand, the back object is illuminated when the back object is in focus. We synchronize ETL focal sweep and projectile illumination timing. Then the front and back object appear clear, and the middle object ball looks blurred because the focus is off the ball. The optical power of the ETL is periodically modulated at greater than 60 Hz. Then because a human can't perceive illumination changes at high temporal frequencies, only the ball uh, appeared blurred, averaging the view of the objects. 
This is system diagram. The digital to analog converter outputs sinusoidal signal to ETLs and trigger signal to projector to synchronize illumination. We control to project uh, different projection images at different voltages. The ETL's driving frequency is 60 Hz. The projection timing is determined taking into account the response speed of the ETL. Now, we describe some evaluation of illuminated forecast technique. Please check the paper for further evaluations, such as the degree of blurring. We investigated whether or not the depth independent spatial uh, defocusing is possible in the proposed system. We placed four objects, bird, bus, case, and dinosaur at different locations. We prepared two conditions of the spatial defocusing. In the first condition, we made only the bus on a 500 mm appear blurred, and the other object appear focused. As a result, left movie shows focus modulation and illumination are synchronized accuracy. So we can capture the scene only bus blurred at right figure. In the second condition, we made only the bus appear focused and the other object appear blurred. As a result, movie shows focus modulation and illumination are synchronized accuracy too. So we can capture the scene only the bus focused as right figure. In addition to the previous two conditions, we verified many other conditions to make sure the system was working correctly. It is optically impossible to produce the appearances naturally. This result verifies the effectiveness of our spatial defocusing technique. Next, we examined methods to reduce the seams, which is unique problem of the system. In this video, you can see two types of seams, gap and overlap between forecast and defocused region. When we see a real-world object through typical eyeglasses that correct for either a myopia or hyperopia, the apparent size of the object becomes smaller or larger. The same phenomenon occurs in the proposed system. Two things, gap and overlap, are caused by apparent scaling of observed real objects. In order to alleviate this problem, we propose the op operation of the uh, projector illumination. Based on the difference in magni magnification uh, calculated from the eye model, the same region is determined so that the region continues naturally. The intensity of the illumination in the same region is decreased linearly from the unscaled area to the scaled area. From the captured result, we confirm that the proposed method could successfully alleviate the visible seam. Now, we describe some applications of illuminated focus. We made the eyeglasses inserted two ETLs. Eyeglass frame is fabricated from FDM 3D printer. 
First, visual guidance appreciation. In this example, in the museum, a curator can move the focused area according to the explanation to direct visitors' gaze to the specific area. In the second example, the system can guide a player by making a part of a musical score to be played appear focused. Second, focus and context visualization application. The focus and context visualization system allows users to focus on a relevant subset of the data, but retaining context of surrounding element. In this example, the system supports a student studying at desk to concentrate on reading textbook. Other areas on the desk, including comic book, appear blurred. Third, considering information application, diminished reality. For example, it can be used to hide unpleasant objects, such as insects. In another example, this system considers undesirable sign of skin aging of a face, like brooches, pores, and wrinkles, by blurring them out. The last, enhance the depth of perception application. This is a new vision augmentation system for 2D picture by making the background region appear blurred. We can perceive that the depth variation of the picture is enhanced by focusing and defocusing effects. For future work, we are developing a spatially, spatially zoomable OSD AR. By zooming in on a part of the real scene, you can emphasize that part. In this video, we zoom in on parts of the document to make it easier to see the details. This method uses multiple ETLs synchronized with high-speed illumination. Here is summary of this presentation. We propose illuminated focus, augmented reality glasses, enabling depth-independent, spatially defocusing of a human vision. Our techniques spatially manipulate the depth of field using tunable lens and high-speed projector. We realized various vision augmentation applications based on our method to show its potential to expand the application field of optical see-through air. Thank you.